Greetings my lovelies and thank you for stopping by The Circle today. This video is dedicated to my longtime supporter on Patreon, Neil. Thank you Neil for all your love and support and you're just one of my most active members so this one's for you. Now this may come as no surprise to most of you, but I am a very, very avid reader and have been so pretty much my entire life. I don't remember learning how to read, but I do have very distinct memories of reading as a child. So for this video, I thought it would be kind of fun and neat to go over my top five favorite books from my childhood, mostly middle and high school though, because I can't remember all the little ones that I read when I was a kid. So let's roll. My number five is The Hobbit. Now I can't quite remember when I first read The Hobbit or if I watched the old cartoons from the 70s first and then read the book. I just remember being in love with The Lord of the Rings from a very young age. Not so much the trilogy which I love now as an adult but as a kid the Hobbit was the shit for me. I love it. And I still love it to this day. I read it at least once every year. My next favorite is actually an entire series and it is The Song of the Linus by Tamara Pierce. Now I did get, do remember getting this book in middle school and I was just absolutely enamored. And I think between The Hobbit and this book that really cemented my love of fantasy in the Song of the Linus, there's magic, there's gods, there's this whole vast world, and you get knights and wizards, and then in later series you have dragons and monsters. Yeah, like if you have not read this, go read this. On a similar note, number three is the Immortal series, also by Tamara Pierce. This takes place like 10 years after this, the time frame of the Lioness Quartet and it follows a young heroine named Dane and Dane I absolutely love. She has this connection to animals and then we find out that she is a demigod and her story and just arc is absolutely amazing. So for my number three, I really bounced back and forth between two books and another series that I love. I originally was going to go with Sabriel, the first book of the Aborsen series, but for my number two, that is going to be Lyriel, which is the second book. What really edged this book above Sabriel for me was the fact that Lyriel did not feel like she belonged, which when I read this book in about mid-high school age, that's kind of how I felt. You know, I was just the scary punk goth chick, but then I also was a big ass hippie, and so I really didn't know where I fit. And in that time frame, and that really resonated with me. And Lyriel is a badass character who's like, well, I may not fit in here, but I'm going to find my place in this world and to hell with you. And so she fights so hard to fit in that when her chance comes to actually stand out, she's afraid to do it. But then when she does, she realizes that that's the reason why she was so different. And it's her difference that made her the quintessential character that she is. And number one, this one is still my all-time favorite. And Christina, I think you know which one this is because we were obsessed with this series. And that is The Animorphs. And if you have no effing clue what the Animorphs are, oh my god, you are severely missing out. It is the one science fiction sort of set of stories that I absolutely love outside of like Star Wars and Star Trek. Like those to me are just movies. I don't read the books. But this one, the books were fucking amazing. It's basically a group of children are given shape-shifting abilities from this giant blue ass centaur that eats with his feet. <laughs> I know, right? So they are now battling against an invasion of slugs and you're like, why are slugs so deadly? Because if they get into your ear, they spread themselves over your brain and they take total control of you. Ah. 
So every book featured a different kid and a different animal. They touch the animals and they absorb their genetic material and they can turn into them. But if they do not turn back within a two hour time frame, they become stuck in that animal's form forever. So it's a long ass series. Like I can't even remember right now how many books there are. At least 20 or 30 of them. Plus two two or three really huge ones that just sort of ended out the whole fucking franchise. And when I say that this series is amazing, this series is amazing. It deals with child soldiers and just war and what is right and what is wrong and just human connections. And they travel to other planets and they meet other aliens and they learn things and it's just like, I, I can't, I can't even, I cannot even express in words just how awesome this book is. Plus, every book had little flippy page thing, like image, flip image things. So they would go from human to the animal and then from animal back to human. It was cool. It was really cool for like when you were like 10 and 12. So go find it, harass your local library, go on Amazon or whatever it is you find it, find these books and fucking read them. So that is it. Those are my top five books slash series from my younger years. And if you have read any of these, please let me know by commenting down below and also tell me what your favorites were. So that's all that I have for you. I will see you all later on The Circle. Bye.